If you already are a Linux gamer or just someone getting into it, you may have seen this image once or twice already. Otherwise, we probably won't meet each other today, I guess. This means there is a pre-rendered cutscene, also known as FMV, which stands for Full Motion Video, which can't be played due to a missing multimedia codec. I'm Vodax Acherontic and don't panic, there is a fix. Custom Proton Let's begin with the easiest solution we have available, which already solves most of the known video playback issues. Custom Proton or Wine Builds. These are community developed versions of the mentioned compatibility layers, which allow for running games made for Windows or Linux seamlessly, well, most of the time. You can find all sorts of them across the internet if you search long enough. The most popular is known as GE-Proton or Glorious Agro Proton, but there are others too. Here's how to get, install and use them. Proton Plus and Proton UpQt. By opening your distribution software center, you can search for the tools Proton Plus or Proton Up Qt and install either or both of them. These tools allow for easy download and install of custom Wine or Proton builds into various applications, such as Steam, Bottles, Lutris, or Heroic Games Launcher. After the installation is completed, just open up the tool you have installed. Proton Plus. After you open up Proton Plus, you'll be greeted with a convenient screen showing all detected applications which have support for custom Proton builds on the left side. However, even though it has support for other applications besides Steam, I do not recommend using Proton or custom builds of it outside of Steam as it is known to cause trouble if not running alongside with the Steam runtime. With that said, select the application you want to add a custom Proton build to and open up the Proton-GE dropdown at the center. After the list of available builds has updated, select the latest version and simply hit the download button on the right. Afterwards, restart the application in which you have installed the custom Proton build. How to actually use it, we will cover later on. Proton UpQt. Proton UpQt has support for not just custom Proton builds, but also for other Steam Deck compatibility tools such as Lux Torpedo or Boxtron. But we only care about GE-Proton for now. As with Proton Plus, so for Proton UpQt, Proton is not guaranteed to work well outside of Steam, but you can of course still do so, just keep in mind it might not work as intended. After you open up Proton UpQt, it should auto select Steam in the top drop down, but it also has support for other applications too. Select the application you want to add a new Proton build to, then click on Add Version and a new window should pop up. In the drop down at the top, select GE Proton and install the latest version. Then restart the application you have added the custom Proton build to. Configure a game to use a custom Proton or Wine version. Now that we've added a custom build of Proton or Wine with additional multimedia codecs, we need to tell Steam, Bottled, Lutris or Heroic Games Launcher to actually make use of it. Steam. Open up the game which has missing cutscenes in your Steam library and navigate to Properties. Then click on Compatibility and tick the box Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool and a new dropdown should appear. Then. Select the latest version of GE-Proton from the list and you're all set. Launch a game and verify that the cutscenes are now properly shown. Heroic Games Launcher To add a new version of Wine to Heroic, open up the Wine Manager from the left side menu. Navigate to Wine-GE and hit the refresh button to get an up-to-date list of all versions of Wine available for Heroic. Select the latest version of Wine-GE and install it. Afterwards, inside your game library, bring up the configuration page of the game with missing cutscenes. Then, Using the very first drop-down, select the version of Wine or Proton you want to use. Afterwards, launch a game and verify if videos are now properly shown. Bottles In order to add a new Wine build to Bottles, click on the hamburger menu in the top right corner. Then, on Settings and navigate to Runners. There, open up the Wine-GE menu and select the latest version of Wine-GE-Proton and install it. Afterwards, in your Bottles overview, select the bottle in which you have installed your game with the missing cutscenes. Then, scroll all the way down until you read Options and click on Settings. Inside the Settings dialog, click on Runner, below Components, and select Wine-GE-Proton from the list. After the new runner was applied, launch a game and verify if the videos do now play. Lutris Using Lutris, you can install custom Wine builds from inside the application as well. In the top right corner of the main window, click on the Hamburger menu and select Preferences. Then, select Runners from the left side menu and scroll all the way down to the bottom until you read Wine. Click on the box item on the right and install the latest Wine-GE version you can find. Inside your game library, right-click the game with missing cutscenes and navigate to Configure. Then, move over to Runner Options and click on the Wine version dropdown. Select the version of GE-Proton or Wine-GE you want to use. Then hit Save 
and verify if the cutscenes do now properly play. Re-encode videos. In case a custom build of Wine or Proton do not solve the issue, you can also try to re-encode the video files. This however takes a bit and it is not guaranteed to work well on all games, as some games use custom video codecs we might not be able to read. Handbrake. A convenient yet powerful tool to re-encode videos on Linux is Handbrake. It has support for a wide range of codecs and also has handy presets available, so we just need only a few clicks to get the re-encode working. Install Handbrake from your distribution's package manager if available or as Flatpak from FlatHub. After you installed and launched the application, you should be greeted with a window like this. Click on Open Source and navigate to the video file inside your game data you want to re-encode. In my example it is the cat01 underscore intro video of Star Wars The Fourth Unleashed 2. If Handbrake was able to properly load the video file, it should now show the thumbnail of the very first frame of the video. On the top, below the Open Source button, you can inspect the resolution and frame rate of the original file. Use these to select the matching preset from the preset list below. Then in the bottom right of the main window, you can select the directory into which Handbrake will save the converted video. Also, you have the option to select audio streams, which should export it to the final video file as well. Some games, as Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 for example, use multitrack audio to store their audio channels for multiple languages. At the time I made this video, there was an issue that even with GE-Proton no audio streams was played or only the very first track, which is English, was played or in some versions of GE-Proton altogether. So we use Handbrake to only export one audio stream here. If you have set everything up, you can either start the encoding by pressing the green play button on the right side or on the add to queue button. If you have more FMVs, to be converted, I recommend adding the current video to the queue and open up the next video, select a matching preset and add it to the queue as well. This way you can handbrake, let re-encode and do other things in the meantime, or maybe overnight and tell handbrake to shut down your system after it is done. If you have set up a queue, open the queue view by clicking the queue button on the top right beside activity and select a when done action. Then hit the green play button inside the queue view and be patient. After Handbrake has done its job, we now need to replace the video files from our game with our re-encoded one. I recommend doing a backup of the original files beforehand. Then, after you replace all FMVs with the new ones, launch your game and verify if your game now does play the missing files as intended. Executioners, Baron. I'll try the Corillian slice sounds. Euch gehen die Henker aus, Baron. Probiert es mit korellianischen Reishunden. In case you know additional ways of fixing missing cutscenes in video games on Linux, let me know in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful and we will meet in another video. Happy gaming!